so today I'm sitting for the Q&A video that I announced quite a few days ago for no reason honestly but finally I'm here okay I really don't know how to conduct this type of video really I am um, I shouldn't have done this I don't know so I'm going to start it with some general questions first so first one is what app do I use to make videos I use in short for making videos uh, and I often use CapCut to edit sound but for editing video I solely use InShot it's very user friendly and it runs offline which is I think the biggest advantage of it second question is who is my favorite Disney princess other than Rapunzel mm, it's I've maybe never mentioned it but it's Mulan she's really smart uh, brave and she has a great personality she's great my second favorite is Merida, Merida from Brave. Third question is, how did I become a fan of Tangled? Yes, I'm a huge fan of Tangled, but I wasn't a fan when I first time watched it. I watched it in 2013 on TV. Uh, although I didn't finish the movie, I only watched throughout the middle half of the movie and then I don't know why did I, didn't I continue but anyway I I wasn't a fan when I first time watched it yeah I was never a fan of rom-coms and Tangled was pretty much like that although I did like the animations uh, the music mm, Rapunzel herself she was she was very uh, innocent looking beautiful princess mm. but I didn't really relate to her that much and uh, I don't know I I didn't like it that much. but it was like in uh, probably 2020 yes 2020 it was 2020 when I rewatched the movie no, I first, yes, I rewatched the movie in 2020. This time I did like the movie. It kind of grew on me. Rapunzel's characteristics, the music, it was so beautiful, so dreamy. Especially the ending of the movie, it was so satisfying. The boat scene was so dreamy, aesthetic. It was so beautiful, so gleaming, glowing. If you want me to tell you which part of the Tangled movie is my most favorite, then I would tell uh, it's the ending. It's the ending. I love the ending, especially, um, I mean, from when Eugene came to rescue Rapunzel. And, and then I love the way how they were ready to sacrifice themselves for each other I don't really know what to say but I mean still it wasn't my most favorite movie I just watched I found Tingle the series on YouTube and I started watching it I didn't really like it at first it was like I didn't like the art style it it just creeped me out because I found it so weird. I don't know. I maybe I wasn't familiar with this kind of art style. Uh, I'm not saying it was bad. I wasn't just familiar with it, so I really avoided it when I first saw "Wind in My Hair." Um, the, the song that was that appeared on a mix playlist that I always skipped this video, but one day I watched it and. I found it 
so lovely and it became my spirit song the in in the end of the tangle movie her hair was cut so how did she again grow that long hair um, i was really curious to know i watched a few clips where she had that long hair again uh, i was really wanted to know that how did she grow that long hair again is, is it happening on some alternate universe now i was so curious to know it so so actually it was the reason that i started watching tangle the series and with time the art style grew on me and i started loving it and and uh, compared to the movie her rapunzel's character was so realistic i believe she has flaws in the series she has temper issues she was stubborn she made mistakes and a lot of things that uh, real humans commit so i found her so down to earth and she was so positive she she brings a lot of positive vibes in my life she became my favorite princess so during my watching the series and then i watched the movie again and then and only then i started to love the movie uh, it was the story of how i started becoming a fan of tangled and and also the fan works was a huge um, inspiration uh, behind my obsession also i um, used to spend a lot of time watching fan arts and edits and uh, a lot of other things on youtube and uh, pinterest and that's how i became a fan of tangled what is my favorite book uh, i've read a lot of books in my entire life so it's really hard to single out only one so just speaking up books i think okay i'm just telling the names that really has some influence on me on my life a little house on the prairie by laura ingalls wilder i really now when i read the book i i could feel their life how they were traveling all across america uh, their hardships and struggles i could feel everything it felt so real the second is coraline by neil gaiman I became so obsessed after reading this book. I always wanted a door to be opened somewhere on our walls so I could travel to another dinner. world. No matter how creepy, how eerie it is, I always wanted to go there. Who is my favorite reader? it's your nineton she runs a blog channel where she post her about her daily life uh, nordic lifestyles and many other things like hand whistling cooling and many other things i love to watch her video because each time i watch it is they bring me some kind of refreshing vibe refreshing positive vibe her videos are really aesthetic and beautiful if you are going through a rough time i definitely suggest her videos cheers also a talented artist a filmmaker and a singer 
second is the cottage fairy her videos are very similar to in tones her voice is so soothing if you are struggling mentally i suggest her videos too because she she talks about mindfulness meditation healing and recovery also she is a kindred she is a kindred spirit when i first discovered her channel i i was so shocked how could some other people from some other corner of the world be so alike she is a kindred spirit third is a random critic she makes conspiracy theories usually on her channel um and also i'll mention sacti films i think uh, is the channel name uh, he gives some or some fun facts which i love to watch and alex mel and dilan is in trouble they usually do movie commentaries movie and series commentaries which is a great way their channels are a great way to find new movies or series for watching what is my biggest inspiration when i create videos what is my biggest inspiration my poor miserable life actually uh, you know i am an introvert and introvert people do like to express their emotions or uh, thoughts through some form of art like videos drawings and writings so there they they can indirectly express their thoughts emotions without being judged i don't know what i'm saying but it's her now holy horribleness i don't know i don't get it it's just mm, really bad i really don't know why i make videos i don't even care if people watch them i just love to make them and put them on youtube to be honest i believe they are horrible I don't recommend my channel to anyone. It is my birthday. <laughs> It's I I actually made a video uh, on my birthday and I wrote it on the description. To celebrate her birth, the king and queen launched a flying anyway, lantern into the sky. It's November 11th. It's November 11th. It's my birthday. And Leave for Stream sent this question. She also wrote I love you. Yes. I love you too, me querida amiga. She's my friend. I met her last year. I mean, I found her on YouTube and talked to her. I haven't met her in person. She is a lovely girl. You might want to check her channel out. So I'll put a link in the description. So that's it. That was all your questions and my answers. I know I didn't do a great job but I was so unsure how to do this kind of video really I've never done it I haven't even prepared the answers for the questions I just looked at those and tried to answer and remember all the things so I hope 
will forgive me when my voice sounds ugly please forgive me for that too thank you thank you very much good night and goodbye